She suffers from a condition she finds so embarrassing she tried staying inside all the time. But something recently happened that changed her life, right, Michelle? Right. Her condition is called trichotillomania. Chances are you've known someone with this very same disorder. She can't stop herself from pulling out the hairs on her head, one strand at a time. As many as two and a half million people in the U.S. will suffer from it at some point in their lives. Tonight, for the first time and only on four, Jennifer wanted to tell her story of her disorder and a charity which helped her afford a wig, which is making a big difference. This has changed Jennifer Clark's life. And I think it's your hair that's helped you, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it makes me so confident. I'm sure. always, like, able to meet people now. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I don't feel nervous trying mm -hmm. to talk to people anymore. Jennifer has a disorder called trichotillomania. She has the uncontrollable urge to pull out her hair, strand by strand. Sometimes I think about how I want to stop, and I don't want to do it, but I keep doing it, and I keep doing it, and I keep doing it, and I can't stop. And I try to talk to my sister while I'm doing it and tell her, stop me, stop me. But then I tell her, no, don't. She didn't realize what a major problem it was until she was a junior in high school. Her hair became thinner and thinner. Now she's completely bald. When it grows back, she just pulls it out again. At the beginning, I would just pull at the crown. Now my head is almost completely bald. And it, um, Does it hurt? No. That's the weird part. Experts are looking at several causes, whether it's genetic or linked to neurological disorders. It usually develops in adolescence, can be triggered by a stressful event, and affects more women than men. And it may develop in people with emotional disorders, such as depression. Jennifer's not sure what triggered hers. Her grandmother had the disorder, and Jennifer told me she experienced a traumatic event as a child. She often hid in her house. Then she met Debbie. Debbie changed her life. When a person loses their hair, they lose a piece of themselves. And to be able to give somebody back something that they've lost that's so important for today, and you know, just society, just your self-esteem, to feel good about yourself, it's just really um, a, a great thing. Debbie owns Hair Enhancements of Pittsburgh, a division oh of Ladies oh. Hospital Aid Society. The group has helped more than 500 people who were losing their hair for various reasons be able to afford a wig. It gave Jennifer the confidence she needed to go to college. Now she wants to get a message out, especially to others who suffer from it. We don't deserve to feel miserable or shameful or guilty. And that's the message she wanted to get out, and that's why she shared her story with me. If you'd like more information or you'd like to donate maybe to the Ladies Hospital Aid Society, which helped Jennifer, we'll have the link on our website. So just go to the pittsburghchannel.com and look for it under Scene on 4. It's right on the front of the homepage. Well, Michelle, Pittsburgh officials are renaming a Bloomfield Ball 